Let's see. My name is Ryan. I work with uh, Little Bear Labs, and Dietrich volunteered me to attempt to answer this question of uh, are we interplanetary yet, which of course is referring to the effort to put IPFS in space and live up to this name of the interplanetary file system, not the uh, intraplanetary file system. So like a true engineer, um, I'm not gonna promise anything I can't deliver and I'm gonna talk around the, the answer to this question and talk about you know, what we're doing right now and probably eventually let Dietrich actually answer this question. So first I wanna introduce Micelli. So this is a new IPFS implementation. I'm thinking of it more as like a building block for deploying IPFS into space. Um, I'm sorry I don't have any cool logo right now. If someone wants to like contribute a logo of like fungus in space, that would be great. Design isn't really my thing, but if someone else out there has some great ideas, um, I would love to have a logo contributed to this. So IPFS in space, obviously like this cannot be your cloud server's IPFS. Um, whatever works here on Earth in our, our high performance servers with all these connections isn't going to work well on some satellite that maybe has like a unreliable um, connection, maybe in the case of my hardware at my, uh, in my office, like a 60 byte MP MTU isn't going to work for the software that we use here on Earth with our mo mobile phones and laptops and all that. So kind of have to go back to first principles and in some ways ask like, what even is IPFS? And I appreciate Robin bringing that up and you know helping give us the flexibility to reimagine what these implementations mean, what they do. In our case, what this means is starting out with just content addressable data, finding some way to move that across the radio link from satellite to a ground station, and maybe calling that good enough for now to say, okay, yes, this is IPFS. We're shipping SIDS um, into space or from space to the ground. But uh, you know, as we, as we dig into this, as we look at this, we've realized maybe satellites are a little more like cloud servers than we've realized, or maybe we can think of them a little more like cloud servers. So one of my goals with building this is I want to give y'all a platform where you can iterate on things like a better data transfer protocol or maybe solving the peer-to-peer -peer problem in space without worrying about the hardware constraints of satellites or the specific details there. So attempting to use network layers as an abstraction to push away um, specificity of hardware and maybe emulate or approximate some of those constraints um, so we can build a more general solution that we can test on the ground and still run in space. But we'll let the, the system integrators, they worry about the radio and we just worry about building the protocol and thinking about how it's going to work. So how do we actually become um, interplanetary? So at some point later this year, this software will be running in a satellite in an orbit near you. I can't say exactly when that will happen. I'm, I'm gonna let Dietrich be the one to announce that once we actually know. I don't think we actually know right now though when that's going to happen and that's okay. That's like the reality of space is that things change, schedule shift, especially when you're like a little tag along like this mission will be. But the reality is like, as Falcon announced, we are planning a demonstration mission. And what this will look like is transmitting data from a single satellite to a single ground station. So shipping some blocks back and forth and maybe even seeing those blocks go from satellite to ground station to Cubo to the broader public IPFS network. I think that's like the gold star that we're reaching for in terms of demos. So really seeing a whole integration of space to big IPFS. So if you wanna hear more details about that and see a live demo of how it's working, um, I'm giving a talk on Monday in the integrating IPFS track. Functionally, this software is essentially complete. Um, we can show shipping bytes or shipping blocks from a satellite over a radio to a ground station and then to Cubo and resolving that as a complete DAG and a file that you can do something with. So I'll be showing that off. Um, if you know someone who could use this, if you know of a space opportunity, please come talk to me or Dietrich. We would love to hear about other people that can use this and try to publicize it to them and you know get more, get more usage here. Um, and if you wanna take a look at the code, you know see how it works, maybe give it a try. 
We have the space um, repo in the IPFS shipyard organization, and also we hang out in the space channel on the Falcoin Slack. So we would love to hear from anyone who's interested or, you know, please come talk to me. I'll be here the whole time. Let's talk about space and IPFS and the different challenges there and what we can do with that. Thank you. Thank you.